In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Kanban in Obsidian. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Obsidian, it's a powerful tool that helps you organize your notes using linked markdown files. So, if you've already downloaded it, let's go ahead and open it on your computer. Once you've launched Obsidian, you'll find yourself on the main dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. The left sidebar will be your best friend as it displays your existing files. If you've just started out and don't have a file yet, don't worry. You can easily create a new one by clicking the appropriate button. Before we dive right into the Kanban setup, let's make sure that you have the Kanban plugin installed. If you haven't done this step yet, you might want to check out my other videos where I walk you through installing different plugins in Obsidian. If the Kanban plugin is already in place, let's proceed by focusing our attention on the left sidebar again. This sidebar will have various icons representing the plugins you've got, including Kanban. Scroll through until you find the Kanban icon and go ahead and click on it. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with an untitled Kanban board. Feel free to give it a name that suits the project or task you're organizing. Personalization can help keep everything in order and make each board meaningful to you. Now, if you look at the upper right-hand corner, there's a small drop-down menu. This is where you can start adding labels. You have the flexibility to add as many labels as you like. Just click on Add List. For this demonstration, let's keep things simple. We'll add three lists and name them one, two, and three. This setup will help you gain a clear understanding of how to organize tasks within the Kanban board. Now that you have three lists before you, it's time to populate them with tasks or ideas. On each list, simply click on Add a Card to insert a card. Don't hesitate to add multiple cards, whatever your project requires. Additionally, if you'd like to change the way you view your Kanban, you can do that too. Again, glance at the upper right-hand corner where you'll find various options. Click on the board view icon to access a drop-down menu. Here you can switch between several viewing options, such as viewing as a board, table, or list. Choose whichever perspective suits your task management style. Once you've set everything up and your cards are in place, there's one more handy feature to explore. You can drag and drop each card to move it between your lists, like shifting tasks from to do to completed. And that's it. You've successfully set up and started using Kanban in Obsidian. Congratulations on taking this step toward better organization. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be a pro at managing your tasks and projects seamlessly.